Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys because it is Monday and it's, um, I don't know what time it is, around 2.30 maybe. Had a busy morning. Me and Julie had to go for our upper GI test, which was so obnoxious, so annoying. God, you had to drink this stuff, move all over. It was just a nightmare. It was disgusting and I'm so glad it's over with at that. So we only have one more thing to do, which is tonight the psychologist appointment, and then we're done with all these gotsy appointments. So hallelujah for that. So I'm happy about that. But anyway, we have to go at five o'clock. So we, I have to leave here by like 4.30 or something. So I just came home a little while ago. So what I'm doing, I just always smell my meat. I'm just, I'm cutting up these cheddar brats and I'm putting them in the, I'm gonna do like a, like a sheet pan meal. I'm putting them in the, um, in the oven with um, some potato, some round potatoes, some seasonings. And um, maybe some broccoli, I'm not sure. I think it's pro probably broccoli. And then this way, this will just be ready for them to eat when they want. So it's gonna be all ready and all they're gonna do is heat it up or whatever because I don't have time to be. I really wanted to make a crock pot meal but I just didn't, didn't plan early enough and so I didn't have it prepared. So I couldn't do that. But So I'm just gonna do this because I had those in there. And these have been in there a couple of weeks now and they need to be used. Oh my God. Let me tell you something about this upper GI. It, it, a comment down below if you've ever had an upper GI and you have to take all this disgusting, um, gross stuff. And then you had to get up on the thing and move certain side to side so this way you can get pictures of your stomach. This really wasn't fun. And I, as you guys know, am not a good patient to begin with. Not at all. I'm questioning this, questioning that. Why do I have to do this? And what does this mean? And oh my God, why are you silent? Is, this, do I, is there something wrong? Or why are you not saying anything? <laughs> like, why do you need to take an extra x-ray? Oh God, I'm like a crazy lady. They must have thought, hey, listen, this lady is really off our rockers, but that's just the way it is. So, took a little while, and then me and Julie went for a quick bite to eat, and now, like I said, we're home. I to get this in the oven, because when Bill comes home, he's hungry. He doesn't really eat a lunch. He eats a quick something, not really anything substantial, and so he's ready to eat by 5, 5.30, and then if he has to work early tomorrow, he's in bed by 7.30, so there you go. It's eat and it's bed. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm just gonna do something quick. Um, I have a couple cans of round potatoes. I'm gonna throw in there with these. And that's what's gonna be for dinner. Something easy. And, um, oh, and the stuff we had to drink, you know, we couldn't have anything to drink or eat after 12 midnight last night. And so like, the last thing I had last night was my was my pills and like, you know, I wasn't even to have, have any water this morning. And it just was, so my stomach was like, I had a little like queasiness before I even had to drink that stuff. And then I had to drink that stuff, which made it completely worse. So yeah. So, so I'm gonna start out with two, with two and see. Um, trying to think. And, I, I, and maybe I'll get like just a couple more. Let me just get. I have four packages, but I'm not gonna put four packages in because the whole family is in here. Julie's not gonna be eating here. I most likely aren't gonna eat this probably. So. I think it'll be funny. I'm just gonna do two more out of this package. And that's it. And the rest, I'll probably just put in the freezer. So yes, yeah, so I feel a little nauseous. I don't really feel that great. I've been drinking some water. The ladies had to drink a lot of water. After drinking all that chalky, gross stuff. So you think, you know, it's a 2023, you would be able to um, 
perfect certain things, but I don't know. Pretty slow. Yes, me. All right, let me open up the two cans and then um, we'll put them into the thing. You get the. And yeah, the last, the last couple of days, I feel like I've been a little light in it. I don't know what it is. Ow! That was my back, and it's okay. And today, did to help with all this stuff going around. So I got the two cans. Oh, these are actually the slice. Oh, wait, he has one hole and one slice. I always try to buy the whole, but sometimes the slice get in there, especially especially if I'm doing a, um, a pickup, a delivery, you know, a pickup order, delivery order. They don't always they don't always get it right. Why isn't this working? I need a new one. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't really sound right. Oh. Doesn't sound right at all. All right, so let me go drain these, and then I'll come back to you guys. Just one second, guys. my nail there, not my finger, right? <laughs> well, it won't help me. It's really not that many potatoes here. I have to see if I have another can. All right, guys. We abruptly got cut off um, because of the phone rang. Um, so I put everything in the oven. What I ended up doing was putting some fresh broccoli in there with it. I cut up an onion and I cut up another couple of tom uh, potatoes because I only had two cans of the round potatoes and that wasn't going to be enough because Everybody likes potatoes in this house, so I cut up like three of the Idaho potatoes in small pieces so so they would cook in the same amount of time as the other stuff would, and I put it on 375, seasoned it up with garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper, and um, it's in the oven now. One, It's a one-pan, sheet-pan meal, all done, and that's it. So it'll be, it cook like 30 to 45 minutes, then it'll be done. dinner so I got a sink full of dishes to do yet before I have to leave here in probably about an hour and a half I'm exhausted exhausted comment down below how you guys are doing what's your weather like today it was a cloudy crappy day now it's sunny and look kind of humid not that hot but um you know, it's humid. So when I got home, I put my air on because my air wasn't on. 
but you definitely need it to go on. So it's on now. But the oven's on for like an hour, so it's gonna, you know. What are you gonna do? I gotta run my oven. I wanted to put it in my toaster oven, but you can't do the toaster oven air fryer thingy with the air because it will blow a fuse. And I'd rather have the air on than shut the air off, so, at this point, so it's in the oven. Um, so yeah, we got potatoes, broccoli, and the cheddar rocks. That's what's for dinner tonight. And so, yeah, so I'll be back on. Hey guys, welcome back to an episode. Oh no, I'm not saying welcome back because I was on before, I forgot. Anyway guys, yes, this is a continuation of the dinner. Um, this is my dinner done, guys. There it is. That's the um, the cheddar brats with the broccoli and the potatoes. Oh, guys, it's so good. It's a little while later because I had to run out and go to my psychologist appointment for our surgery. So um, I didn't show the rest of it, but this is our dinner right here. Um, I made a salad. I felt like a salad, and that's um, that is Greek olives in there. There is lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and some avocado in there. And, yeah, that's my dinner. Right there in the salad is avocado. So um, I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to come back and, and after I eat and clean up and stuff. And I want to talk to you guys about my day today. I want to tell you how fun it was. I'll be back. All right, guys. So we had dinner. I'm just sitting here at, the, at my table, at my chair, in my chair. Bill just went to bed. And um, just hanging out. Feeling a little... A little um, mushy right now. Um, look at this, guys. Look at what's in my chair. Look, I'm sitting in my chair. He came behind me, and come came, he came climbing up on my chair. So he's sitting behind me on my chair. She wasn't so cute. Telling me, it's just. Where are you? Can't see him now. There he is. And I'm sitting in the chair, and he's sitting right behind me in like no space. So, anyway, um, guys, let me tell you something. We had this freaking this. I'm sorry, I'd be exhausted. We had this upper GI today. I don't even know what they're doing, okay? But I didn't even know what to expect. But we had to drink this this thing of, like, chalk. I don't even know what it was. Well, first we had to drink this. Um, it was, like, it was like almost like um, Alka-Seltzer, but it was all, like, in powder form. So you had to throw that down your throat, chase it with water, and you weren't allowed to belch. They didn't want any belching, but it made you belch, but you couldn't belch. So then they had to take quick pictures of that, and then you had to lay down on this thing um, on, the, on the table, and then you had to drink something else, and then you had to sip something. It was just, it was, it was, it was a nightmare. And I don't know what was going on, but it took the lady five times to find, to get my, to, get, to take my pictures. I was in there like 40 minutes, Julie was in there like 20 minutes. Um, so it just was, and then of course you get nervous thinking, why are they silent? What are, what are they, why are they taking it again? Do they see something? Like, Mike, is everything okay? Of course, cause that's my personality, you know what I mean? I can't stop yawning. So, um, so yeah, we got out of there. We went for something to eat. Then we came home, and I made the dinner like I showed you guys. It came out really, really good. The brats, I made brats, and I put um, the round, the can, you know, round potatoes. I put fresh broccoli that I had uh, in there. I had, like, the, blo the broccoli florets, like, in the bag, you know, like, like the fresh ones. So I threw those in there. I made, um, I cut up, like, three um, regular, like, Idaho russet potatoes, and I just cut them up really small and added them to the other potatoes with the, with the brats because... I didn't have enough potatoes, and we like potatoes. So, mixed all that together with some olive oil, salt and pepper, fresh um, crushed garlic. It cooked about, I would say about a half, no, it cooked about 45 minutes. It was amazing, guys. I just ate, it was so, you saw it. So, so good, and I had a little salad. 
had that and um yeah and so but what 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 it's about oh first first of all julie and i are a pair i'll tell you that much right now um we drive to the place where we think you know the test is and we're looking around for anything for we're looking around for the building and we can't find the building so we call the lady and we're like well we call somebody and we're like where are we supposed to go to make a long story short, we were at the wrong location. We had to go like 20 minutes away from where we were. Meanwhile, we were late already. So we, we called up and the lady's like, oh, it's okay. We'll still take you. So we had to go to the other location. Um, then when we got there, Julie was registered already, but they never called me to pre-register me. So I had to sit down there, wait five minutes, wait 10 minutes, and then... And then pre-register with the lady and then go back there and do the whole spiel and all that stuff, which is a big pain in the booty. Um, when we got there, we saw there was valet parking and me and Julie were like, yes. And Julie was like, it's mom, it's only $6. I'm like, oh, that's good. I won't pay more than $10 for valet parking, but valet parking is the jam. <laughs> the jam. So I want to tell you a funny story. So we get out, of, we're, we're done with all this, the testing and everything. We get out. And we give the guy our ticket, and I pay the six dollars. We walk outside the door, and he's in, in he's in front of us, walking to go get our car. Literally, guys, here was the building where the door was. Right, no exaggeration. The the car was right here. It was you went up like three steps, and it was right there in the parking lot. <laughs> Truly, was like mom mom look I'm like what she goes, there's our car and I'm like are you kidding me for, um, so Julie was like we paid six dollars for them to, the car's right there I mean we all we had to do was step through but like my husband said which is true um they're they they're allowed to park there because that's where they park the valley that's where they park the cars you know so it wouldn't have been that close if we didn't if we didn't have the valet but still it was like right there like six dollars for just like a skip, a hop, skip, and a jump. We were hysterical. I tell you, one thing about me and Julie, we're having a lot of fun. We really are. We're having a lot of fun doing this together. Um, we're spending a lot of time together. And um, it's just, you know, she keeps me straight. I keep her straight. It's funny because sometimes she's not in the mood and I'm not in the mood. And when we're, when we're, it's usually opposite. And so we're, we help each other. I mean, we got through this all together so far. Um, we did the last one tonight the psychologist and that one really quick we have to do another like phone interview with her and then that's it and then we got to go back to the regular um then we have to go back to the surgeon we have to see what we weigh and all of that i'm nervous because i've been this weekend was a little rough for me guys i i just was in an emotional mood and i ate i mean i, I say i ate a lot i didn't really eat a lot i just ate more than i usually eat so i'm afraid i gained a couple of pounds but if i did i'll lose it what am i gonna do i'm not gonna try up spilt milk it is what it is, but um, yeah, so then that's really the only next step to making the appointment for the surgery, so um, I'm so happy. I just can't wait to get this done and get this over with. I just want to get it done so we so get it, you know, going so we can actually be, you know, looking towards the end of it, um, and hopefully it'll help my health-wise and, and um, both of us healthier and make us feel better and all of that. So that's exciting. That's an exciting part. Um, still trying to like, um, you know, when you lose a friend or something, it's really difficult because um, it never kind of goes away. It kind of creeps up on you. And um, so what I've been doing, I used to journal. So now I haven't journaled in a very long time and I'm starting to journal again just because it's a way to get my feelings out because I'm not really go I haven't been going to my therapist and I used to go to her like once a week for so long or whatever I haven't been to her again in like six months probably three or four or five months so I have to start getting back into that whole thing but um, journaling really does help you guys should try it if you you know you're having some issues or whatever it's always good to put your feelings down on paper you know if you feel like talking to somebody that you can't talk to you write this you write this stuff down and it makes you feel better and you feel kind of like you let it out you know and it just it really it's really it really is helping me 
Um, so, yeah, so I'm just, you know, fighting a little bit of that little sadness still and all that. But I'm okay. I'm getting better. I'm doing okay. And, you know, you got to go on. And and uh, death is part of life. And it's just sad, you know. It's really sad that it has to be over for somebody who's so young, you know. Like, I think of my own age, 57 years old. Like, how could it be over for that person, you know? It's just really horrible. It's sad. It's sad. It's really sad, but life goes on, and, um, and that's it, and that's all we can do, guys, and, you know, um, I'm, I'm excited for what's coming up, and um, Julie's wedding, and, you know, us losing weight, and um, grandchildren, and all of that, and stuff, so, yep, so that's it. So that was our, that was my day, pretty um, kind of crazy. Tomorrow is Tuesday, and... I have to go to the DMV because I have to register Billy's truck and I have to get Jenny an ID, but I have to look for her birth certificate. She doesn't have a New York State ID, um, so I have to go and get her one so she could do certain um, like outings with her group. They have to go and, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of West Point, you probably have. Well, West Point is by our house and um, they go there once a year and you always have to have an ID when you go to West Point. It's very strict and very, you know, they're, they're very careful over there. So. Jenny doesn't have an, uh, a, a New York State ID, so I got to get her an, an ID, so I got to go there tomorrow, get her an ID, and register Billy's truck, and then next week, I'll go and register my car. I'm doing it one, one, at, a t one, one at a time, because I can't be dealing with dealing DMV. One, it's too much. <laughs> so, you know, DMV is getting crazy. Um, so, yeah, so that's what's on the agenda tomorrow. I'm going to try to get out early and get it done and get home, because I don't feel like... I really feel like spending the day kind of home tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I have to bring my car to Ford to drop it off there. They're going to bring it back and then pick me up um, for them to check out the sensors to see why the light keeps going on. Because after I register my car, I only have 10 days to, or 20 days to um, inspect it. And you can't get it inspected. It's not going to pass inspection with the, with the, the battery light on, the light on. So we have to figure out what that is. So that's going to be a cost. And then it's, it might be a cost to fix it. So I don't know. It is what it is, guys. It, it aggravates the crap out of me that it happened and that, you know, the light came on so so soon after I bought the bought the car. But everything else in the car works so great. So I don't know. It, it's, it's hopefully just something very minor. Please pray for me that it's something minor. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's it, guys. So I have a pretty busy week, Thursday and Friday. Um, will be probably a lot calm, calm, calmer, and um, I gotta get some stuff done. I actually had really take out my um, mine and Jenny's um, summer clothes, and they're in my room. And um, during the week, every time I have some time, I'm gonna go up there, and I have to get all my my winter clothes and fall clothes out of my drawers. They're all still, so I gotta switch all the clothes. You know how that fun that's gonna be. I'll probably take you guys along and do it. Um, so that'll be fun, yeah. So that's what the that's what the plan is for this week, guys. I hope you guys are all having a great Monday, and um, that's all I have right now. I'm just hanging out. It is um, seven fifty five, and I'm just going to upload this video, and then I'm going to um, just watch some Family Feud. Probably it usually cheers me up. If I'm feeling down and all that, I go to Family Feud because that usually cheers me up. He's so freaking funny, Steve Harvey, that I just die laughing. So, yeah. So, that's it, guys. All right, guys. So, please, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the bottom and the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment because I love when you guys comment. Um, I love interacting with you guys. It's a lot of fun. And it's great. So don't forget to comment. And again, don't forget to hit that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. And subscribe, guys. All right, guys. I will see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.